my mentee, I would ensure that you had a business that makes at least $100,000 every single year as our very first milestone that me and you would achieve together. Now, for this service, I would probably charge you at least $6,000 and it would be a 90 day intensive. What I'm going to do in this video, I of course can't fit 90 days into a reasonably long YouTube video. And I can't tell you everything that I would do there because nobody would watch a video that's that crazy long. But what I want to cover is one component that I think that you can take from this video, apply to your business for absolutely free and become a better businessman or a better businesswoman out there because of it. All I ask for you to do is please subscribe to the channel if you're new, smash that like button and share this video with everybody you know it can help because my goal here is to motivate, educate and inspire you to do something entrepreneurial so that way you can live in your purpose fulfill your God-given purpose through your God-given talent. And without further ado, one of the most important things that I would want to address early on, whether it's in your business or in your business idea, is ensuring you have at least a $5,000 offer. Hold on, wait. Are you somebody on the internet right now that's looking for a proven way to grow your personal wealth, create generational wealth, work smarter, not harder, and just take advantage of what life truly is, having the freedom to do whatever it is that you want without working a job just to pay the bills. Well, guess what? Recently, I was exactly where you were. I was watching a ton of YouTube videos, buying courses, listening to podcasts, you name it, and compiling information. And through trial and error, I finally figured out how do you create a business that can make six figures or more per year that has no products or services. Honestly, I did it because I didn't want the headache of having to deal with products or services. If you're somebody that wants to do it with products or services, by all means, you can 100% do it. But for those of you that are watching this and that sounds interesting to you, I've written a book that will teach you the strategy I'm currently doing. This is not theory. This is what I do every single day. I have several businesses that yield me multiple six figures every single year without any products or services. And I want to pass it along to you. If you're interested in learning how I do it, click the link down in the description below. Now, yes, we live in a world today where people have digital courses and mentorships and inner circles and even like I said if I was going to spend 90 days with you I would easily charge at least six thousand dollars for 90 days to go in depth with anything and help you build a six-figure business in a group coaching environment right don't think that that is the only place or that is the only sector where people can have premium value offers as they are referred to as now if I wasn't on the internet doing all of the digital stuff that I've learned to fall in love with with. Many of you all know my very first business was as an independent curry. That was a non-emergency medical transportation business. That's how I made my first six figures. That's how I got the seed money to become a real estate investor, invest in other businesses, and even start, yes, this fantastic YouTube channel that you're watching right now. But if for whatever reason that internet just wasn't for me, another business that had my eye and I actually took steps in learning that business, applying that knowledge, and developing that skill set years ago was in mold remediation. Remediation. Now, full disclosure, I don't currently own a mold remediation company, and I am by no means the expert in mold remediation. But what I'm telling you is that in mold remediation, you could easily have at least one of your offers being $5,000 or more. Not saying that everybody that calls you for mold remediation, you would have to charge that much. But if you're going to do a commercial building, if you're going to do a large home that has a, a really bad problem, or even a medium size or small size, home that has a terrible black mold problem, you could easily market, find customers, and charge at least $5,000 to help them solve that problem. And I'm just using mold because that's what I would be doing if I wasn't doing this. And you guys let me know if that interests you. We might can do reactions or other videos on that in the past. Or I could tell you my story with it as it pertains to adding value to you all. But whether it is a service-based business like mold remediation, or you have an info product like mentorship to help people make six figures or whatever it is, you can say that your joy is you like doing hair. Well, can you create package deals and say, okay, you know, I'm going to specialize in doing hair for women on their wedding day for them, their bridesmaids, their mothers, their whatever, whatever, and create a package that makes those women feel like this is the best day of their life, which it should be, right? So it might not just be hair. You might partner with somebody that can also give them a massage, a facial, manicure, pedicure, 
whole nine yards. And once you put that bundle together for them, their bridesmaids, their mothers, their whoever else, and have a package that's at least $5,000, yes, it's not a theory. There's actually women out there that are doing this all the time. Even private chefs out there. So if you say you love to cook, of course, you're never going to get paid what you deserve if you stay at McDonald's your whole life. But can you specialize in doing banquets, formal events, or bigger events for large audiences of people, but and add a ton of value and have at least an offer that you could charge $5,000 or more for? Absolutely. The biggest problem that I see most people have when it comes to this is not us being able to brainstorm exactly what they could do. And then they agree that, yeah, that's at least $5,000 or more, right? It's them having the confidence to actually believe in themselves that they can create that value, offer it to people with a straight face because they know that what that person is going to pay them pales in comparison to the value that they're going to receive after that. But going back to the point, we would start off with ensuring that you had at least a $5,000 offer, right? For those people that are wondering why, I have a South Carolina education, not great at math, but I know simple math. So we have a $5,000 offer, I only need 20 people to buy that over the course of an entire year, which may sound like a, a lot to some people, but honestly, we're talking about less than two sales a month. But for easy math, let's say you could convince two people a month to buy your premium value off, right? This is not counting the money that you can make once you add in your premium value offer plus your other offers that you have around this as well. So if you only focused on that offer alone, it could easily make you six figures. But if you tier your offers, which is another video, and I don't want to confuse anybody by giving you guys too much at one time, you could easily crack over and my mentee easily crack over a hundred thousand dollars by applying this information but let's focus on the premium value offer because what i found is that most businesses struggle the most with that when you create a premium value offer it is all about the result you might also hear people talk about the transformation so for the sake of this video i have outlined a very generic info product offer that any of you all could learn and apply and have at least a five thousand dollar info product offer if it interests you. I know not everybody wants to be an infopreneur, but we're just going to use that because that's the flavor of the season. So at a bare minimum, $5,000, you could say, you know what, attention business owners out there, are you looking for another way to make money or a way to completely replace that nine to five job as your primary source of income and make at least $100,000 a year? Well, my name is JT and what I will do is help you create, validate, and optimize that idea that you have in your head, turn it into a real product or service and then a real business, then I'll help you create a sales funnel for that offer so that way we can consistently garner new clients and get them to go from knowing about your product to being a diehard fan and repeat customer of that product through your sales funnel. And finally, we will take care of your email marketing service for an entire year for the low price of $5,000. Now, of course, we can optimize that and actually show how any one of those three components in and of itself can be $5,000 or at least a few thousand dollars. And if you add them all up, that offer was probably worth closer to $15,000, right? And this is not theory. I know a gentleman right now, and I also know friends of mine that have paid this gentleman as well, charges $12,000 just to do sales funnel setup and optimization. So if your offer was, hey, all of these people that are watching all of these YouTube videos, they want to know a way that they can make more money. What if I insert myself as the man or woman that helps people make more money in a real way? So the first thing that we have to do is get that idea that's swirling around in your head onto paper. And then we got to validate that idea. Is there a market of people that will actually buy that product or that service that's in your head? So we could go through the process of creating an MVP, right? That's not a most valuable player, by the way, for all of you sports fans, that's a minimal viable product. So we can go through the process of creating your MVP doing some pretty easy marketing for it and seeing if anybody is actually interested in buying a small portion of that offer. It might not be the great, big, grandioso idea in your head, but a small, valuable portion of that idea can be turned into an MVP. We can take that MVP, market it, and maybe when we market it, it's nowhere near $5,000, but we're just trying to identify that there is a market that will buy what we're selling. Lots of times the issue that far too many entrepreneurs make is that 
they ask the wrong questions. And if you ask the wrong questions, you're going to always get the wrong answer. There's a difference between do you like this product and hey, will you buy this product now? All right, because I can like a lot of things, right? I can like the Conan Sig is my dream car, right? Bugattis look pretty cool as well. So do Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, Ferraris. List can go on and on and on, right? But it's a different question if you say, hey, do you like these cars or will you buy this car now, right? Because I can say yes to one and no to the other for whatever reason, right? And most business owners that I run across, they make decisions based off of the wrong questions. So that's why we will create an MVP, market that MVP, sell that MVP, because if those people, if there is a market that exists that would like a small slice of your cake, of course, there's a market of people that would like that whole entire cake. So think of your MVP as just a little slice of your cake, right? Maybe that's just the appetizer of your full meal for those of you that don't eat sweets. But that's a small portion of the value that your premium value offer would eventually have. So we would develop that MVP, market it, and now get some sales coming in. If you guys are savvy, you are understanding that I'm telling you exactly how people are doing this. Not how I think you would do it, how I would do it if I was you. This is how people are doing it and they're making millions of dollars, right? Just wanted to make sure this doesn't go over your head because sometimes people discount free information and don't understand how powerful it is, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video, right? Back to it. So after you did your product or service creation and validation, the next thing we would do is build out a sales funnel for that, right? Because now we have to go first, we have to make sure people know that your product or service exists because you can create the greatest product of all time. If nobody knows it exists, nobody will ever buy it, right? So we will have to create a sales funnel to get awareness and then turn that awareness into buyers that not only buy your product once, but love it and buy it over and over and over and over again, right? Do you think that is impossible? How many of you all shop at Walmart because as a kid, your parents took you to Walmart? How many of you all shop at Target because as a kid, your parents took you to Target? How many of you all shop at Lowe's? How many of you all eat at McDonald's? How many of you all do things today because as a kid, somebody that you admired somebody in your family or friend took you there and now it's a habit that has been passed on generation after generation right that is the goal for your product or service as well i have clients that are my premium value clients they pay me sixty thousand dollars a year and they've been my client for years right so I want you all to know that it is very possible and your goal should be to create these for yourself, those happy customers that buy from you over and over and over again, not because of your price, but because of your value, right? Never compete on price is my humble advice to you, right? So once we create a sales funnel and optimize that sales funnel that first makes people aware of your product or service and then helps drive traffic so that way they don't only buy it, but buy it over and over again. Last thing is email marketing, right? There's a ton of entrepreneurs out there that they know to ask for the name, email address, and phone number, but they don't know what do you do next or how do you do it in a way where you don't run yourself ragged and it's actually profitable. Enter in email marketing. There are people that make millions of dollars a year strictly off of the email marketing campaign that they have alone, right? Matter of fact, there's a whole business in just selling your blueprint for marketing out there as well. And that's for another time in another video, right? But if your premium value offer for the sake of time, you don't want to do mold remediation. You don't want to do any of the other examples that we covered in this video or across this channel. Something that you can simply do from the comfort of your home is say, you know what, what I'm going to do, and you can call it whatever fancy name you want to call it. I'm a business architect or I'm a whatever, right? And you can ask chat GPT if you're like me and need help coming up with new sexy names for offers. But if your offer was something as simple as, hey, targeting the right people, because that's a nugget and saying, hey, you right people are interested in creating additional income streams for yourself. Who are the right people, high level for the people that might have that question? I would say for a $5,000 offer, I would only talk to people that make $65,000 to $70,000 a year or more that are willing to start a business or interested in starting a business, not people that I am trying to convince to start a business. So I would find people that are already making 65,000 or more dollars per year 
that have already let it be known that they want to do a business, but for whatever reason, too busy, whatever, whatever, they haven't done so yet. That would be the only people that I would target because if you're making that kind of money, while $5,000 is still $5,000, right? It, it's not the same as asking somebody that makes 35 grand a year, 20 grand a year, or somebody that makes no income, right? Four or $5,000. Because if you ask somebody that's on a fixed income that makes $2,000 or less a month for $5,000, they're thinking that you ask for three months of their life. Whereas somebody at $65,000, $70,000, while they make that on average every single month, right? That man or woman usually has a different perspective on money. And we'll leave it at that as well. So to me, the right people for this offer at a bare minimum already make at least 65 to 70 K a year. But of course, the higher that they make, the easier the sale would probably be. And I would only target men and women that make that much money, want to do a business, but just for whatever reason, because of time, not knowing where to start or just felt like, whatever, whatever, right? Since that's my go-to blanket statement for everything in this video, right? Hashtag whatever, whatever. Those would be my ideal clients for this offer. And again, I would tell them that, hey, this is what we would do. We would help you create that product or service and validate it in the marketplace via your MVP. Secondly, we will create a sales funnel so that way we can consistently generate sales for that offer without you having to work just as hard on your business as you do on your job. Because in my experience, one of the perks of working for yourself should be that you can make good money and not work as hard as working a nine to five job. But you guys can let me know how you feel about that down in the comment section. Last but not least, email marketing for an entire year as well. And let them know that if they do exactly what you tell them to do and they don't get the result that you promise and you can promise whatever, right? So I know this blueprint can easily make somebody $100,000 in a year. Maybe you're not confident with that promise. Maybe you say, hey, you're gonna at least triple your investment. So you tell them, hey, if you don't make at least $15,000 this year doing everything I say do, I'll give you back the five. Whatever makes it more comfortable for you, right? But this blueprint works. I know people that make a ton of money doing it, million dollars plus doing it. I'm gonna share that with you for absolute. Absolutely free. If you got value out of this, again, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about it. And of course, this is not what I think. This is what is happening right now. Last thing that I want to tell you, and I know I keep saying last thing, but for real this time, the worst thing that you can do is give a winning strategy to a losing mindset. Now, I'm not saying those of you that watch this content have that mindset, but maybe the people that you're going to go run this idea by after you watch this, maybe they have it. Maybe somebody accidentally hit this video and they are watching this video with the wrong mindset, right? Always, always, always remember this. I always say, do your due diligence on me, do your due diligence on everybody I bring on my channel, but also do your due diligence on everybody, period, and make sure that they're qualified to give you advice on this subject matter. Right. You could go do the research on me. It's pretty, you know, out there uh, for anybody that really wants to know who I am and what I actually did. But what I want you to understand is that if somebody says this can't work or it won't work for X, Y, Z reason, reality is what it is. Your perspective on reality creates your life today for somebody was an average day. Wasn't bad, wasn't good, it was just another day. To somebody else, today was a terrible day. They lost their mother, their grandmother, their job, something significant in their life didn't go their way, so today is a bad day, right? To somebody else, they got married today, they had their child today, they got a bonus today, they closed that deal today. Today was a great day for them. Now, there could be three different people living in the exact same area at the exact same time, but still have different experiences in that time. That's why I always say reality is what it is. Your perspective on reality will determine what kind of life you have. Now, it's up to you to decide if you're going to take action on this information and get to the next level. Right. If you guys need further assistance from me, you already know what to do. Tap in with your boy. Till next time, so I'm hustler. Stay hustling. JT Automations. Yep, I'm gone.